I am Ra. Greetings. I am sharing with your new home and missions that you have. So come and stand in Ra's temple of light in the city of light. Please request your guides to stand around you in support. There is a sacred circle in the center of this temple. There is a shaft of golden light extending from the circle to the heavens. As you stand here, request all the negative belief systems that you hold be brought to light. It may come as a thought, a vision, a feeling, a sound. Release them into the column of light. It is here that you request alignment to the higher light and vibrations of the fifth dimension and higher. We leave you on the ray of golden light as we always support you in this process and guide with our knowledge for one minute of silence. So now be aware of this creative time. Be aware that by letting go and asking for that God-given force to work through you, you will discover your hidden gifts. Ask in whichever way you wish it to or you'd like it to for your highest good and the highest good of all and you will find that wonderful, amazing things that will come to pass. I am Ra. Fantastic children will be conceived at this time. Incredible abilities they will have. Those that are being born at this time and those children that are being born to the world are being created by and are entering into a very special stage even those that are creating children at this time conceiving it is a very important time that they are being conceived at this time they are already being cherished by spirit being adorned with such beauty and colors they are coming to you on angel wings they are coming to you with such presence, such nobility, such grace, and they will do you justice for the new generation of children. They are being born to this world right now, really will help to co-create a new world of peace, harmony, upliftment, renewal, and a lot of excitement. They are going to be fast moving, fast moving than those that we have already seen playing and playing around on the earth right now. They will be even higher vibration, angelic ones will be moving among them, and they will be coming to the earth to save the earth and mankind. There will be some great healers among them and wonderful magicians. They will be using their magic in such wonderful ways, incredible ways. They will surprise so many of you who didn't even know it was possible. They will achieve great things as you will too, but they will help them along 
You are all part of this wonderful new flow of energy. So push these children. Do not hinder them. Push them gently and allow them to teach and reach out for those goals that they most certainly are going to reach out for, no matter what you do. So we will leave these words with you and we will shine this beautiful orange light upon you all. I am Ra, hone in on your decision to make a real difference in this world and then go out and make it. I am not speaking in platitudes here, for I gain nothing by doing so. I sincerely hope that you can take seriously the potential for your cutting through the suffering you now experience, as well as that you are likely to face nothing changes in your life. Give this matter serious thought and consider yourself privileged to be able to understand these matters and act upon them. Let the world see who you truly are and live your life as if you believe it. Please believe me when I say that the most people who do so, the fewer potential traumatic experience for Earth. Of course, Earth's traumas are your traumas such as enlightenment becomes Earth's enlightenment. I am Ra. The timing is right for you to expand and to soar high and to use more talents than you've ever used before. Also, we want you to use your spirituality and your spiritual gifts and we do wish you to allow them to unfold, which they are and we are very pleased about this, but some of you do not seem to realize that you have greater gifts than you think you have. Some of you have got the gift of the psychic art, and some have you the gift of clairvoyance and clairaudience, and you have no idea or believe that you are not in the league of others who have these wonderful gifts. But we can assure you that you have and maybe you have possessed these gifts in other lifetimes so we ask you in the coming months to think about this think about all the gifts that other people have around you and all those gifts that you yourselves know you have and the gifts that are well written and are hidden maybe you can share the gifts that you have Maybe you have gifts that no one else has. All you have to do is let go more and more and allow the angelic beings to work through you so that you can come up with real masterpieces, not just <laughs> for yourselves, but for others. This is a very important period these three months, July, August and September of this year, very important months for many of you, but it needn't stop at those three months. Not just in a way of creating and using your talents, but also being creative with children, even those that are being born in the world now. There will be a rebirth and activation of the solar plexus for all in the Uluru of Australia. Impossible to be there physically or spiritually. Such a beautiful rock. <laughs> I recommend it. It is also connected to the one heart chakra of the earth in its 5D rebirth. Uluru is the home of the rainbow serpent, the divine feminine creation of Kundalini energy of Gaia. It is also, once you gather, did I say that it was for, for also for the, did I say it was the activation 
of the solar plexus. Hopefully I did because that's what it is for. <laughs> so once you gather the depth and the breadth of my love, you are realized when you have the realization of my love and how it knows no bounds, then you are enlightened. Enlightenment is nothing you do unless you call realizing it, doing. This is the enlightenment that is so sought after. Think less of gaining enlightenment for yourself and think more about giving love. It is through giving that you receive and surely you don't want enlightenment just for yourself. Secondly, it is not possible. You don't want to stand on high mountain when most everyone else is in the valley. You'd rather stay in the valley and help usher others into the awareness called enlightenment. And so, beloveds, let enlightenment be something you give rather than something you covet for yourself. No longer put yourself first in line for enlightenment. Do not push your way forward. Graciously let others go before you and then let you will see that you are indeed at the head of the line. I am Ra. Dear ones, your minds are the wombs of peace. Consider well how you nourish this precious birthing place. Indeed, your individual personal choice for peaceful, loving, wholesome thoughts actually birth into manifestation a totally everlasting, peaceful, loving, wholesome world. And I say, well done, well done. I admire you all so much. I'm so proud of you all. I send you all my love, prayers and blessings from my heart. Namaste. And I, Rosalie, also send all the blessings and I love you all. Thank you for listening tonight. Thank you.